everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we're going to be doing my weekly budget. Um, I don't like to hold y'all. I like to jump right on in. Um, for those of you who are new here, I'm a self-employed hairstylist and here at the Cove, we are really all about financing, budgeting, business. And from time to time, I plan my life minimally or functionally using a planner. But today we're going to be doing my weekly budget. You can find these inserts in my shop. I do have these listed below. Um, let's take out um, this insert here. And this is from last week. And as you can see, I estimated $650 for hair, um, but we end up making $1,000. And $25. I thought I was going to be out for surgery. That got canceled and now it's rescheduled for this Friday. And yeah, but Saturday is my busy Saturday and I'm supposed to take off a couple of days, but I really cannot afford to. And I decided like for times like this, this is where cash envelope stuffing comes in handy. I'm going to get back to it. I just got to get ahead. So in Norris Cove, we made a total of $447.95. Way to go. But um, $230 from Norris Cove for this week. So I'll be getting this this week. And I put down $217.95. is pretty much what I got last week. And probably some more from the week before that. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I probably did three last week in total. Um, Uplift got paid, Carnot got paid, and like I said, I'm just not ready to share that amount yet. Um, and I let's still get it refinanced, and then I may share it. <laughs> and then Citibank, here's the thing, Citibank and Barclays, they were doing the 17th and the 18th, which were Fridays and Saturdays. Monday was a holiday, it would have normally come out, so it'll probably come out tonight, but, uh, the money ain't there. <laughs> so... I don't know. We're going to see. And then I did pay booth rent. So I don't know. And I'm going to show y'all something I've been doing. I'm going to move this. I'm just going to go to my calendar for uh, March, I mean February, so I can see what all we have going on. But I'm going to show you what I've been doing in my weekly, I mean, yeah, on my, ugh, I'm trying to get it out. Uh, my salon schedule because I'm like usually at the end of the week I'm like okay if I made a thousand dollars where is it so I've been kind of writing using my functional stickers you can also find these in the shop to write in certain things like here I got paid from Etsy a hundred dollars um a hundred ninety two dollars here in Shopify um but I'm gonna show you what else so I've been putting what is going on here? Oh, I've been putting other things on my schedule. Um, like here, I bought more cello bags. Here, ordered um, more supplies, ordered paper, paid car note. So at the end of the week, that way when I'm looking at my money and like, okay, if I made this, where did it go? So I'm using these stickers from cloth and paper to... Um, I'm using these stickers from cloth and paper to kind of highlight those things, so to draw my eye to it at the end of the week when I'm like, okay, where did my money go? So I need to switch this over. So here we are this week. And matter of fact, I need to whip them out and highlight that um, I transferred something. Oh, I bought transfer tape and some ink for the computer. So those are like business supplies that'll bring my eye to it. We had a birthday luncheon today. I don't even want to talk about that because all my money went kind of there, but I already knew ahead of time. That's another reason why I want to do the cash envelopes because I knew ahead of time this was coming. I thought I was prepared, but I just wasn't. But I had the money, but it really was for something else. So I'm going to set this aside. We've gone over the preview. Let's get into it this week. We're doing the week of the 20th through the 26 income sources hair i'm gonna up this because i already know my saturday is busy i'm gonna put 1100 
we're moving on up. Um, Norse Cove. We already said that it would be two seven no two thirty for this week. I'm gonna put it at two fifty just to give myself a little grace. Miscellaneous. I was supposed to do nails today. Um, uh, didn't do them. Anywho, so uh, let's see. We know I'm gonna put Barclays and um. Citibank back over here. I have T Mobile. Uh, I don't know about that. T Mobile is like $307 and some change. Um, $70 for Barclays, Citibank, $84. And then on Booth Rent. That's 250. I have GoDaddy. That is due on the 25th. T-Mobile is due on the 23rd. And then I have Afterpay. It's only like, I'm gonna say $20. It may be less than that. And that's what I have this week, but I got to get prepared for next week with my state farm bill. So I know I'm busy on um, Saturday, so I know a portion of that is going to go to state farm. Also, I have to get my taxes done. I'm just going to make a note here, but I'm going to guesstimate 300 to get them done. But my tax lady, she gives me a discount, and so... Um, I'm waiting to hear back from her. So let's do a total. GoDaddy is $7.41. Let's do a total. So we have $738.41. I don't even know. Yeah. $738.41. So probably if I added my taxes, I'm at my max. I wanted to do $10 to my high yield savings. And I want to do at least um, sinking funds. I'm just going to put envelopes. I'm at least trying to get $75 and get going again on that. So let's see, let's take, I don't like to add Norris Cove income in here, but I think like I have some supplies I need to get. So I'm not gonna add that. That's a business, total different business expense. So I'm gonna subtract the 738 from or 1100. That leaves me with 361. We're at 361.59. And like I said, once I do this, it may be cheaper. So I'm just putting that in the notes. I'm not going to include that. And then I have $85 here. And yeah, because I've been missing a few weeks of just putting the $10 in there. But um, it shouldn't be a problem. Matter of fact, I might just go ahead and schedule that. So that is our budget this week. We have a total income of $13.50, which again, I'm not using that income from the business that goes back into the business. I'm not necessarily paying myself at the time, even though I've already purchased stuff. There's some other stuff I need to get. Uh, we have the my birthday box coming up, and then I still want to be prepared for the anniversary box. But, um, yeah, so that is what we have this week, y'all. Um, I hope I didn't go too fast. I hope that I was clear. Um, let me get this in here. But, yeah, so I, I realized, like, one of my goals this year was to become debt-free. And I just feel like I'm not moving towards that goal. Um, I want to really work on my finances i'm just tired of showing just this not being able to show that i paid off some debt 
or that I've, you know, I'm basically preparing for my future. The high yield savings, that's pretty much for my future. But I definitely want to get back in tune with my budget. I almost skipped today, but I was like, it'll be real quick. Um, it's just my weekly budget. It's not a whole monthly, which takes longer. Um, again, this is what we have this week. Um, we'll do the review next week, so stay tuned for that. And again, if today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more content like this, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know that you're new here, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.